Hey everybody, it's Will Taylor, Coffee with Will. Today is about something so obvious that it's made such a difference in my life today. I had stumbled upon it accidentally. If you just came on here, uh, notice there's a link for Austin Creative Alliance, which is our nonprofit sponsor, where we take your money, your donations, and do great work with Strings Attached Cares. And you can check out what we do at stringsattachedcares.org. So I, I've been doing some biohacking and really just trying to see how good I can actually feel by doing the things that I do have in control, like my diet, like my exercise, like somewhat sleep, like choosing things that I'm passionate about. And all the brain research is, is showing how flexible the brain is uh, to rewire itself and repurpose the connections that are there. I stumbled upon one today. Um, you know, a lot of people do drugs, a lot of people drink to feel good, but if you've been on the earth for any number of years, you probably have some periods or some... I just want to share with you that it may be obvious to you. Here I am, a musician, playing music a lot, my head is in the musical world, and it's so obvious why music is so powerful in terms of turning on those happiness circuits and happy, happiness um, chemicals that are in the body that, that just need to be activated. We get stuck in these these habits, cyclic negative thinking. And I accidentally uh, stumbled upon an artist because I heard an interview. Thank you so much, Christian Howes, for interviewing Jean-Luc Pani. When I was a kid growing up in Austin, Texas, I used to listen to everything that Jean-Luc Ponty put out because he was a jazz rock violinist. And I had this feeling of excitement and hope listening to his music and wanting to play his music and following kind of in his path. Well, I put on one of his albums because I, I got to hear an interview and here's this amazing violinist. He's in his 70s, you know, my, my parents' age. He's still out there doing his thing. He still loves to perform. So I put on an album today that I used to listen to almost 30 years ago and immediately those circuits that are in this brain lit up and I was feeling so good because I had this familiarity with the music. I knew all the solos, all of the nuances, and essentially <laughs> it was like doing drugs for me. It turned on all the happiness chemicals. So my suggestion and hope for you is that if you're feeling stuck, one way that you could get yourself unstuck is think back you know, we do this in meditation and visualizing in meditation. Think when was a really happy time in your life and visualize being at that place. For me, it was in the 80s when I was in high school. I mean, those were some great times. Thank you, Mom. I had a really great childhood and I really had some great friends. Sure, there, was, there were, there were um, challenges, but just listening to that music transported me in time back to that time and that feeling of hope and that feeling of possibility was instantaneously in my body. So, you know, it can be done with music, maybe it can be done with art, maybe it can be done with dancing, maybe it can be done with calling an old friend, but gosh guys, we don't need to do drugs, we don't need to drink alcohol, we just need to reconnect with the uh, times in our life. And this is obviously, we, you know, the ultimate goal I, I want is to, to be present in the in the right now and bring that feeling to the present now. But when we get stuck, this might be a cool hack to try out, right? Think about the music, think about the times when you were most happiest in your life and close your eyes, put on that music and smile and get happy. Like they say, fake it till you make it. This is like one step beyond fake it till you make it, right? Uh, what do you do to get unstuck when you feel stuck? You know. All that possibility is in here. I've been um, following uh, Wim Hof and his breathing method, which he, which he talks about that we have the capability now. We don't have to meditate for 30 years. Through breathing, we can access that inner part of the brain stem and we're able to release all those happy chemicals and be the full potential, amazing, happy human beings that we are born to be. And I think it's just a great message. Go check out Wim Hof. He's inspiring me. I've been inspired. I've been stuck. I've been stuck for on and off for a long time. And I'm having these peaks and valleys, 
And it's interesting to note and share with you what seems to be working that's not drugs, not alcohol, and sort of collect these ideas. And I want to know what works for you and what, what, you know, what works. Hey, Paul, how's it going? What works for you? What helps get you out of a stuck place that is something that is healthy for you and instantaneously changes your frame of mind or your state of mind? Uh, Wim Hof talks about that, that we have, we can access a state change. And uh, there's another famous guy that talks about this, Tony Robbins, that we are totally capable of changing our state without the use of prayer, yes, without the use of drugs. Uh, I like eating great food. I like walking. I like connecting with nature. As soon as I am out connecting with nature, immediate state change. Gratitude, writing gratitudes, calling my friends, thanking them, writing letters of thanks to people that were important in my life. That's a gratitude practice. And also visualizing things in the past, times in the past when I was really happy, what was going on around me at that time, what music was playing, taking that music and playing it. It's an immediate, it immediately accesses those circuits that are still there. They might be dormant, but music, music really, really does it for me. Obviously, I'm a musician and so is Paul. But listening to Jean-Luc Ponty today, can you feel it? I was remembering all that wonderful excitement about wanting to be a jazz rock violinist. And as a matter of fact, it brought it all to the present right now. And I thought, why not? Why not just do it again? So I, I am looking to start a residency again in Austin. And I'm gonna be reaching out to a lot of you people that I know that live in Austin about where to do it. And I've talked to uh, Jason McKenzie, who's a huge Jean-Luc Ponty fan. And wanting to do that instrumental music and just for the point of the, 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 the pure joy of it of, and the community of people coming together weekly. I love, love, love the community that music provides and I want to get back into that, having that regular space once a week where we can do that, we can play some original music and we're friends. You know what? That just never gets old. And so if you're watching this, share with me what works for you share the video. Let me know if you're in Austin, you're watching this, where would you, what part of town would be great for a Will Taylor instrumental music gathering? I'm thinking Kava, which is on Barton Springs Road or down where I live, Indian Roller is a great venue. Huge, mystical, magical backyard. <laughs> uh, great space for a lot of people to, to lots of parking away from the downtown traffic. I'm thinking Indian Roller might be the place to do it on Monday nights. Who wants to join me? And think of all the musicians I could invite to sit in on a Monday night. What amazing community scene we could create. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Listening to that record of Jean-Luc Pani. It was called, uh, the record's called Civilized Evil, but I love Jean-Luc's music. I love his spirit. I love the, the album that he put out with African musicians, if you haven't checked it out. Um, guys, you know what? You have the ability to, I'm sorry if this sounds preachy, but you have the ability to access those circuits and you can change your life. And it may take some time and it may take some work, but not all is lost. Have hope. If I can do it, you can do it. If I can help you, please reach out to me. Please reach out to me. There are going to be ups and downs in life, but they're the, you know, the, the things that come to you in life like that, where you really feel challenged, it's an opportunity, right? To get to the next level. It's an opportunity to reach out and say thanks to the people that have made a difference in your life. There's so much positivity that can be manifested. Let me know how I can help you. Make a donation to Strings Attached Carers below. Share, like the video, uh, click on the little button uh, that says notify me. It's, I think it's a bell. If you want to come on board, I'm doing these Coffee with Will talks about every day. And I would love for you to be on board. We're going to make a podcast out of this and have interviews and do more extended talks. So that's my coffee for today. I am off to enjoy the sun today in Austin, Texas. Let me know what you're doing today to enliven your spirit. Let's share that with each other, shall we? Thanks a lot.